I thought I thought today was a, a really good Wednesday practice. Um, you know, having this is our first you know, kind of third down, um, your red zone two minute. You know, with a real focus on uh, on Georgia Tech. And uh, I thought the guys, I mean, the approach to the work. You know, we still had some some good speed. You know, you know ones on ones, getting after it. Um, but I thought the guys, you know, approached the day the right way. Um, you know, obviously things we get to clean up and continue to improve upon. But uh, you know, this the last few days have been really really pleased with this team. And uh, you know, we've had a four day stretch. Um, you know, tomorrow we'll have a kind of a mock game going through, uh, you know, all situations, um, you know, things to expect, you know, maybe sometimes the unexpected, um, you know, we try to throw in there just to, for, for newcomers, for old guys, for coaches, for everybody involved to be prepared to uh, respond in, 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 in the situation. Um, but, uh, you know, I really like what I've seen, you know, throughout the course of this week and just the guys' overall mindset. I thought receivers have had, I mean, just want to give them a shout out. They, I thought they really, you know, raised the level of their game here this week and, uh, you know, thought I had another good day and, and just competitiveness with them and the defensive backs and how those guys are, are challenging and, and, and working uh, with each other to go get better has been really, uh, really good. So uh, I thought it was a good day all in all, but uh, definitely proud of what I'm seeing from that group as we get closer to game day. Did you challenge those receivers? What's that? I, sorry, sorry. Did you challenge those receivers? To because it seems like they've responded really well the last. No, I mean they. they you know, I mean you get challenged. You get challenged all the time here, and so uh, yes. But to say that, you know, we needed to see, you know, continued improvement. Absolutely, and I mean that's where I think those guys, um, you know, we we throw a lot on them, and you know, just for that position, there's a, a lot of different you know dynamics, elements, depths. You know, where you're supposed to be, any potential adjustments to a route. Um, but then, you know, when you find yourself in the moment to go make the play, you got to go make the play. And uh, you know, they have responded well this week to um, to our encouragement. And uh, you know, that, that you got to go push to to the standard. And I think those guys have have really gotten better throughout that um, throughout this week. You know, I mean, I, I think Malik's you know done a done a really good job. Um, you know, it's kind of had him. You know, he he's uh, he's had a good camp. But I mean, I really like what I've seen from him. You know, Darion uh, Darion's had a great week. I mean, you know, Kentron's had a really good week uh, as he's, as he's continued to push. Um, you know, we know you know we know the guys that uh, we got in that room. I think it's a very talented uh, talented group. We got some uh, you know, guys continuing to grow. I mean, you look, you know, you, you guys that have been here and have played with like Hakeem. Um, you know that you know we those guys understand what to what to expect and understand the the um, you know the opportunity that's in front of us. But then you even some of the newcomers with Luane, uh, Elijah getting in there. You know I think Jalen Brown has, has got a chance to to really uh, make a, a very positive impact on this team and you know just continuing to push him. Uh, but uh, you know I, I like the group. How important is scout team work, and how much can a guy improve by being on the scout team throughout the season? No, I mean it's it's critical for the program. It's critical for development. I mean, you know, I mean it's it's all part of the guys' process, and you know, you know different guys at different positions. Um, you know, it's you know, there's there's guys that are on the scout team right now that I fully expect to help us win games this year. And you know, but it's it's how you go about the work. And you know, we've got had a couple guys even today. You know, you, you try to roll guys on scout time, uh, on scouts to also keep them fresh. And um, you know. A young young DB that's going to be a phenomenal player here. That I mean, was pissed off when he got rolled out, and that's what you want. You want guys that may embrace every opportunity to go get better. And you know, when you see that as as an opportunity rather than you know anything beyond that, it's 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 going to open the door for you to to, to take the next step. And you know, I'm excited about uh, you know the the ability of those young guys and you know just the opportunity to go and improve. Yes, I mean, and it's all you know. There's a lot, like I said, a lot of different elements. You know, he's you know, we move move our receivers around a pretty good amount, and you know, Lewayne was here in the spring, so he got you know introduced to it. But uh, you know, even being able to. Uh, uh, to change him around to a couple different positions has been good, and you start to see his understanding, the confidence, being able to play fast. You know, he's got a great skill set, um, but you know, you see it's all starting to come together for him. How beneficial is it? You have some guys, I think, on your scout team that will probably be playing on Sundays. They're just young. How beneficial is that for the guys going up against them? No, it, those are real looks. Absolutely, and and that's what that and that's what you want to have. Uh, you know, Pat Payton was a scout team player. You know, uh, Josh Farmer. I, I mean, you sit there and you go. You can go through a, you know, a laundry list of guys that have had to come in and you know have have earned opportunity through their growth. But I mean, it's still the the, the important steps that are taken, and that's what makes your team better. And you know, we don't we don't sit there and um, you know just say, all right, well, the guys on scout team, and you know, put them off till next year. I mean, it's it's 
you know, we've had guys on the scout team that by midpoint of the season are playing football for us. And so uh, you just got to continue to grow, get better. And uh, you know, I think our guys, there's a healthy respect for, for uh, what they're trying to accomplish and, and you know, the push that's necessary because we need a great look and we need you know, that, that competitiveness. And you know, I think our guys have done a nice job with that. With the possibility of college football seasons getting longer and longer, is it making it more important to be able to have that depth and that rotation? Oh, absolutely, ab- absolutely. And I think that when you're looking at, you know, when you're looking at a team, I mean, that's, you know, you obviously you got your frontline guys that uh, you know, are going to play, you know, as, as many snaps as they can. But you know, at, at a snap, I mean, Nick, you can you can be into the depth, and you know, to be able to to have guys that can go in there and play at a high level. Um, you know, to keeping guys fresh, being able to have rotations um, as you get through the course of the season. There's going to be some games where guys are unavailable, and I mean, you know, we saw that last year. You know, when when. Um, uh, Keon and Johnny were both out, and you know, it was Jakai Douglas's opportunity, and you know, he had over 100 yards at Pitt, was you know, one of the players of the game, and you know, just did an outstanding job. So it's it's always you know, a part of that of that growth and, and that process, and you see, so you can't get distracted in the moment. You just got to got to continue to to trust, you know, where where it can go, and 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 continuing to build that te- depth for the team. KJ, KJ Sampson, the guy you praised earlier, has done a good job. He did, and you know he hit. He missed a little bit of time in the middle part of it, but uh, you know, he's back, and you can see that you know, his confidence has definitely grown. And you know, I think he had a wonderful summer. Uh, you really getting in shape, and you feel his explosiveness. And you know, he's a guy that can uh, make an impact. I think he can get to the quarterback. Um, you know, it's just the you know the consistency of the day in day in day out fundamental aspects. Um, you know that he's continuing to build upon. But I you know, really like what, I, what I'm seeing from KJ. Okay. Can I want to add one more? Is Amari? I mean, always make plays. yeah, we're, I mean, he's, uh, you know, there's still some things that he's, he's working through just, uh, you know, he's, he's been here in such a short period of time, but, uh, you know, uh, he's, he's working with the, with the offense right now and, uh, you know, we're fast tracking him and I think we got a, a good group there, uh, but we're definitely um, all eyes to see how quick he can get out on that field to, to be able to help us. Right. Thanks, coach. Thank Thanks, you. Coach. Thanks, coach.